Hi all, welcome to beginner series of Workato. Today we are going to discuss about Automation Pro 1 certification. Before we move into our today's agenda, let's have a quick recap on what we have learned in the previous session. We have learned about on-frame agent. So please do check out our previous videos to understand on-frame agent. So I'll be giving a video link in the description box as well as you can click i button at the right top of our video okay let's discuss today's agenda that is automation pro one certifications so this video will be a information video rather than it will be a kind of a, about a recipe design or something we'll not discuss about that we'll discuss purely on the automation pro one certifications okay so the first thing why the certification is important right so we'll discuss about that first say likewise when you have data theory you have learned about theory you will need a practical to understand the theory part. likewise when you learn a courses on the work at home that needs the certification to understand your knowledge level right say example i have say i've learned introduction to work at home or recipe components okay now when you give an exam like certifications about this topic if you get a questions if you're not able to answer it that means you're not able you not understood the recipe component theory part very well or you not did a practical very well right so that means this is very important to understand your knowledge level okay so now we'll concentrate on the automation pro certification so this particular session uh what we have learned like so many videos we have seen right in the previously those for a design for basically for learners and also who have have a little experience in the automation okay so uh today uh these are the four topics which covers the automation pro certification that is introduction to vocato recipe components introduction to recipe design and recipe information uh, we will discuss these four topics in a detailed way after logging to our workspace okay let's go to that workspace now so uh basically i'll show you how to come to this particular uh page okay so just go to your browser and type automation sorry just type workato okay so uh click on the first of the op first option whichever gives you automation pro one so since i have already logged in uh let me sign out first that so that i'll give you uh, information how to sign in okay for sign in either you can log in with your username and password and that username and password is same as your workspace login say example you have a uh, log into your workspace already that means this particular sign in it automatically takes care of your login there's no record of again you have to provide your credentials now see it will read uh takes care of your logins right so now uh, once you landing land into this particular page now what you have to do is go to this particular uh automation pro one demand okay if suppose you have not covered all these topics uh either by my videos or any of the courses so far you take up okay please take that okay i'll not uh, sign up anywhere now i'll show you though the topics wise okay uh so let's go to first introduction to work at all, right so introduction to work at all, it covers these many topics that is new automation mindset means how basically the work at all is works help basically to the the integrations okay in help integration and work at all at a glance work at all functionalities the work at a ui and the projects okay that means uh basically how to create the projects and everything let me show you that uh, well let me go to that particular thing so so when you uh, when i click on this particular thing so these are the topics which covers okay project contains recipes connections folders subfolders okay these are the best practices you have to follow so this is about the your topic about so likewise we'll have a lab 
when say you'll be creating a project uh, which includes the recipes connections all those things okay then we have a in each topic we'll have a knowledge check so please do do that so that you'll understand each topic very well okay and next topic is recipe components which is talks about what is recipe application connections that means you'll be suppose say you are connecting a sales force what all things needed it needed to get a successful connection triggers steps lab preparation then you'll have a uh, creating a first recipe and each topic will have a knowledge check likewise the third topic is introduction to recipe design where you'll have a knowing the what is recipe design data mapping and data fields formulas testing and running recipes and finally you'll have a lab like to and whatever topics you have covered that like example what is recipe design and formulas testing and rec uh, running recipes those you will be covered in the this lab okay then we will have a finally have a lab, uh, knowledge and uh, final topic that is recipe information uh, you will have a workout dashboard uh, it contains recipe details versioning how to do that versioning job and job reports how to do a customized job report those are all important topics which covered by automation pro one okay uh, finally, you will have a uh, once you cover all these topics, you have to go back. Okay, let me go back to the Workout Shop Automation Institute. So, let me click on the certification again. Now, you have once you cover this topic, particular topic that is like Automation Pro 1 certification related courses then topics then you'll have a automation pro one exam let's talk about that okay now if you see here uh, automation pro one exam right i'll just click on that and i'll talk about how basically it is contains okay what all the information contains you'll have a you have 30 minutes to complete 15 questions that will be a multiple choice examinations okay uh since it will be an open book test you have you can open a chrome or anything which is a information for you to to get the answer for that particular question okay and uh one more thing i want to tell you uh here uh i think it will be having two items for you okay two items only two items you have to pass the exams if you fail that means it will be revoked we will not be having access to again to take a pro pro one one examinations so be careful while taking the certifications and also one more thing i want to tell you you guys all you guys is about if since even it's open book test don't do that like to just search the answers from the chrome and get it answered it so try to understand the questions so if you feel that it's very difficult you not understand make a note of that particular thing but where you are feeling that so that that particular topic you have to go back and you have to practice again so that you have covered it okay so please make sure that you'll be not make a cheat so that it gives you uh basically not be benefit for you if you do the cheating it'll not be benefit for you okay so try to understand the question give answers if you fail for the first attempt then for the second attempt try to understand the question very well if you're not able to answer get it answered from the chrome it's fine no issues but please don't make a note of that particular topic Okay, or a question where you are not answered it even though you passed it but go back to your again same course and get it clarified where i missed it okay okay this is all about uh, about this particular session or a video about so i guess i have covered so far about the topics on the which covers automation pro one exam and also how to give automation pro one exam and what all the instruction you have to know before you taking the pro one exam pro one exam right the timing the questions as well as the uh the what type of the exam will be okay so please uh do good do, do your best and also do prepare well and give the examinations okay hope i have uh, clear up your doubts in this particular video if not if suppose i missed anything please do comment out in my video i'll do check that and i'll give you answer back to the your comment okay thank you so much for your time and patience keep learning and keep doing that thank you